The Library of Congress Packard Campus for Audiovisual Conservation in Culpeper, Virginia, preserves and provides access to the library's vast collection of films, television programs, radio broadcasts, and sound recordings. American History TV visited the Packard campus to learn about the earliest public affairs films, including U.S. presidents, the Spanish-American War, World War I, and the first-ever political ad created in 1912 by the Democratic Party. This is the earliest videotape in our collection. This comes from May 1958. It's two-inch quadruplex tape. This is the inauguration of color television at WRC, NBC owned and operated station in Washington, D.C. Ceremony that was hosted by Robert Sarnoff, then president of NBC and attended by President Eisenhower. During the ceremony, Sarnoff flips a switch. The cameras you see before you are color cameras. They are now transmitting a black and white picture. By pressing this button, which I now do, the cameras are transmitting a live color picture. When you step before them, you will be making your first appearance on color television from Washington. And it goes from black and white to color. And he tells President Eisenhower, we're making two copies on this new kind of videotape for you, Mr. President. I have a strip of this new tape. I have asked our engineers to make two tape copies of this program. One will be sent, Mr. President, to the White House for your personal retention. The other will be presented to the Library of Congress so that its archives may permanently possess a visual record in color of this significant occasion. I think all of us realize that in these fast-moving times, it is highly important that our nation's capital should be attached to every single citizen in this country by the very fastest, best kind of communications. Decisions of a nation and of a government that at one time uh, could uh, tolerate three or four a weeks of study now demand almost instantaneous a reaction. And that's the copy that we have here. Our engineers recently did a new transfer of it, so amazingly enough, 55 years later, we're still able to copy this videotape. There's just tremendous amounts of material out there waiting for a new generation of researchers to discover it and make something meaningful of it. There's a lot, there's a lot of stories uh, that can be told in our collection and, and we're just so eager to, to make more of it available for people to discover and enjoy and tell us more about what we have.